Now we have grasped the basic of multimedia, it's time to dive into another exciting section that is web technology. Just like we explored multimedia, we will now take a closer look at the world of the web and its essential components. In this section, we will gain an overview and understanding of the various aspects associated with web technology. Get ready to explore the fascinating realm of the internet and its building blocks. Welcome to our beginner's guide to web technology. Today we are going to explore the fascinating world of the internet and break down some key concepts in a way that anyone can understand. Let's start, let's start with the basic what exactly is web technology. Well. It is the foundation of everything you see and do online. From websites to emails, streaming videos to the social media, it's all powered by the web technology. And here is the definition. Web technology is the collection of tools and standards that enable the creation, sharing and accessing of information on the internet. In simple term, we can say web technology is like the engine that powers everything we do on the internet. It is the set of tools and techniques that allow us to create, share and access information online. Imagine the internet as a huge library filled with books, videos and all sort of resources. Whereas web technology is what helps us organize and navigate through this library. And here you can see uh, the components of web technology and what are the components or basic components that are available in web technology that is www, html, http, ftp, tcp ip, ppp, domain names, url, ip addresses, website, web browser, web server and web hosting. At the heart of web technology is something called the world wide web often abbreviated as www. This is the vast network of interconnected documents and resources that you access through the internet. It is like a giant collection of interconnected pages, pictures, videos and other stuffs you can find on the internet. When you type a website address into your browser like www.example.com you are actually accessing a specific page on the world wide web. It is kind of like opening a door to a room full of information where each website is like different room with its own unique stuff inside. So whenever you are, you are browsing the internet, you are actually exploring different part of the huge world wide web. When you type a web address into your browser like www.example.com, you are actually using a series of protocols to request and receive information from a remote server. HTTP or hypertext transfer protocol is like the language spoken between your browser and the server, while FTP or file transfer protocol is used for transferring files. In summary, HTTP helps us to access web page while FTP facilitates file transfer. Remember HTTP is like the road you take to visit websites and FTP is like the truck that transports files between computers. Underpinning all of these is that TCP IP protocol suit which governs how data is transmitted across networks, thinks of it as the roadmap that guides you information from one place to another. P 
TCP and IP ensure that information like web page, emails or videos travel smoothly and reach its destination on the internet. They are the behind the scenes helpers that makes sure your online activities work properly or not. Now let's talk about how you find your way around the web. Every website has unique address called URL or uniform resource locator. This includes the domain name like example.com and the specific path to the resource you are trying to access. Behind the scenes, each domain name is mapped to an IP address, which is like the digital address of website on the internet. Now the question is what is domain name? Domain names are like the address of website on internet on the internet. Think of them as the name we use to find the remember website easily. For example, google.com or facebook.com are the domain names. They help us navigate to a specific website without needing to remember complex strings of numbers. Now what is URL? That is uniform resource locators. URLs are like the full direction to a specific page or resource on the internet. They include the protocol like HTTP or HTTPS, the domain name that is google.com and the specific path to the resource you want. Together they form the complete address that your web browser uses to find and display a particular web page. And last one is what is IP address that is internet protocol address. IP addresses are like the unique numbers assigned to every device connected to the internet. They serve as the digital addresses that allow computers to communicate with each other over the internet. Just like how each house on the street has a unique street address, every device connected to the internet has its own unique IP address. Of course, none of this would be possible without web browsers like Chrome, Firefox and Safari. These are the tools we use to navigate the web displaying the websites in a format that we can interact with. So web browsers provide an interface for users to interact with the World Wide Web. And in a web browser, a user interface is the collection of elements that allow a user to navigate and interact with the internet. Finally, let's talk about where websites live. Every website is hosted on a web server, which is essentially powerful computers that stores and deliver web contents to users. Web hosting companies provide the infrastructure and services needed to keep websites up and running all the times. So in brief, web server and web hosting team up to store websites securely and send them fast to anyone who wants to see them online. They are like behind the scenes helpers who keep the internet so running smoothly for everyone watching. And here is the summary through which we are ready to explore the backbone of the internet and uncover the secrets in the series of lectures. We will start with the very foundation, the World Wide Web. It's like a digital web that connects people and information from all the corners of the globe. Next up, we will delve into HTML, the language that form the building blocks of the web content, just like architects design blueprints for buildings HTML helps structure and design web pages. Next, we will explore the protocols, the essential rules that govern data transfer on the web, HTTP or hypertext transfer protocol and FTP that is file transfer protocol are like the messengers 
that ensure seamless communication between your device and the web servers. Then we will move on to the networking basics. We will uncover the secrets of TCP IP and PPP. These are the like uh, these are like the invisible highway that data tra travels on connecting devices and making the internet possible. Ever wondered how domains names and URL works? We will demystify them in our future discussions. Think of domain names as the address of websites and URLs as the specific path that lead you to different web pages. And let's not forget about IP addresses, the unique identifiers that allow devices to talk each other on the internet. They are like digital phone numbers, ensuring your data reaches its intended destination or not. Finally, we, we will tie everything together by exploring the intricate dance between websites, web browsers, servers and hosting services. It's like a well choreographed performance that bring the magic of the internet to life. So by the end of this unit, a student will not only understand the theoretical aspects of multimedia and web technologies, but also gain practical insights into creating and managing digital content. Get ready to embark on an exciting journey through the digital landscape. Thank you.